This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to some more Conan Exiles tips. Today I'm going to show you the location of every tier 4 armor. Let's get to it. Okay, so before we jump into things, uh, there's a few things we have to cover first. So this video is being made on September 13th, 2018. The current state, there are two armors that you cannot get that are tier fours. There is this one here. I don't know why her nameplate's not showing up, but uh, oh, there it goes. Um, she is the one that gives the epic flawless version of the reptilian armor. And then there is this guy here. He's the um, Nordheimer and he does have a spawn location so she's just not technically in the game unless you spawn her in he is supposed to be and has been in the past but is currently broken right now uh i can show you exactly where he's supposed to spawn at so you can keep an eye on him but currently right now he's broken so Go to the forums, tell him to get on it and fix him because there's no reason he should be broken and there's no reason she shouldn't have a spawn location. Anyway, so we'll take a look here and I'll show you. Uh, so here she is. You can see she makes the epic flawless of the reptilian and here he is. He makes all the veneer stuff, v veneer, vanar, however you pronounce it, all the Nordheimer junk. Those two right there, can't get them. Okay. So now that we got that out of the way and you know which version we're on and where we're at and all that stuff and I tested all this in single player by the way as well and this is on PC. All you PlayStation 4 people and Xbox people, it should be the same but you know Conan and you know how Funcom is. So they should be the same but they may not be. Okay. So let's get to our first one. The way we're going to do this is I have a spreadsheet here on my other monitor and uh, I'm just going to do these in alphabetical order. So the first one is the Aquilonian set and that is by Hanar and let's get him out of here. We'll get to him in a minute. So where's she at here? Right here we go. So you can see she makes the Aquilonian uh, set. She also makes the Relic Hunter as well. So pretty much any of the ones that you get here in Super Maru, Super Maru, however you pronounce this city, the set city, she's right, right here is where I'm at. They all make the, the Relic Hunters. But if you're looking for the Aquilonian, you want Hanar. Once again, she spawns right here. You can see the location that I'm at right here. There's two locations. They have the exact same spawn set. There's this one right here, and I'm right in front of the uh, the house that you get the the witch key or the key from the witch queen. Um, and then right on the other side of that, there's two people that are standing here talking. And this armor spot is the exact same as the other one. So if you kill that one and she doesn't spawn, come over here and kill this one because she can spawn right here as well. Next up, we have the Sumerian, and if you take a look here, we're at the mounds. See, here's where the mounds of the, de the dead are. We're right up here at this large hut right here, and you can see where I'm at here. So once you're at this large hut, you come on in here, and the dude spawns right here where this guy's standing. And we'll come out here, and he makes the first set and the steel set for the Sumerian. So all of that stuff right here. And his name is Work of the Lost Tribe. So right there he is. Okay, on to the next. Okay, so this next set is the Defari set. Now there's a lot of different locations you can get the Defari, tier four Defari armor. So the first location is right here in the old uh, Black Hand Galleon and at this location right here. So. You just come on in here and uh, come on down here and it's right right in here inside the ship. So right there, this location, there's a bunch of different ones that spawn here. So we're going to be coming back to here, but you can get uh, one here that makes the Defari armor. We'll go up here. His name is uh, Ogres Iron Eater. So right here, you can see he makes Defari. The next location for the Defari armor is right here at Flesh Eater Falls. And the dude you're looking for is whatever, whatever that name is, Heavy Hands. But Banura, Bana, whatever his name is, you can see there he makes it. And he spawns right here, right there. 
at that spot. So here we are in uh, the summoning place and this spot right here, you see this guy? Now, he looks like he wants to wander, so I'm assuming he may wander around, but the last guy that I just showed you, he also spawns at this location. That's three different locations that you can get the epic flaw or the tier four armor for the epic flawless version of the Defari armor. Okay, next on the list is the hyena fur armor and you can see I have a spot marked right here where it says armor so this we're at the den so you basically come to the uh, upper right hand side of the den and there's there's three people that stand here and the one you want to kill over and over again is right here and uh, they spawn there's actually you can get ones that are just a generic they just say legendary armor and they will make the hyena fur armor and then there's an actual named one that spawns there as well and i'll show you here so this guy old uh, steel toe here he makes the uh epic flawless version of the hyena armor and he also makes the Cambogian as well. And then if you take a look here, you can see the ones that just say legendary armor. They only make the hyena fur. So if you're looking for the hyena armor, you just come here and kill them till you get either the legendary or the, the named ones to spawn. Okay, next up we have the Hyperborean Slaver armor, and this one, this is one of those ones that you're probably not going to be able to get. So let me kill kill both of these people so they respawn here so see that one that just spawned right there let's see if we can kill her again I've actually covered this in another video right there where he just spawned at this spot and they wander around up here as well as you can see they will even wander as far down as to like around here so if you want to kill them you can give it a shot but the problem with this spot is almost every single possible exile thrall or thrall of the exile faction can spawn at this spot one of which is Gur the leg biter and he is your tier four armorer for the epic flawless version of the hyperborean slave armor your chances of getting him are extremely slim but i can confirm 100 percent that he will spawn here it may take you a while. It took me a long time on instant respawn. So I can just imagine how it is on the default. What is it like 15, 20 minute respawn time? It, it's going to be slim. It's going to be slim, but he does spawn there. Okay, next on the list is the, I'm assuming it's pronounced here, Carrion, the, the Raider armor. Once again, we're back here at the old uh, pirate ship. The old Black Hand Galleon spawns at this spot right here. The person you are looking for is uh, Mr. Horseshoe here. And you can see he makes the Raider armor. Okay, next on the list is the uh, Shaman armor. Now, I already covered that one on the den and showed you that old Steel Toe makes the Shaman, but so does uh, Shindelazar here. She also makes it, and she can be found at this spot here as well on the Black Hand Galleon. So... There's a, like I said, there's a bunch of them that spawn at that, that single location there. So if you're looking for the shaman armor, you actually have two options you have here on the galleon or up here uh, at the spot that I showed you for the hyena for that same guy, Mr. Lauren, the steel toe. He also makes the Cambodian shaman armor as well. Okay, so this next one is a double whammy. We have the Lumerian Royal and the Warrior Armor, and that one is uh, Fia, and she spawns here at, she actually spawns at three different locations, and I'm gonna show you. She spawns right here, she spawns right here, and right here. Oh, sorry, I mean right here and right here. So I'll show you on the map. We'll take a look at him again when I go to him. So at this spot right here, kill this one over and over again, spawns there. Uh, you're probably going to have better luck here since uh, this one only spawns armors. And, but, and I'll show you why here in a second. So then the other spot is right up here. Now this spot here and the next one I'm going to show you. So right here, if you watch, you can see that it spawns all kinds of different ones. Pretty much any of the... Lemurian set it can spawn from here so um and that this this one here as well so you can get the uh, Durketto priests you can get smelters you can get armors 
pretty much all kinds. Of, I mean, I think that was a named on we, yeah, right, whatever he was there, Matt Taskmaster, Taskmaster, all that different stuff at this fire here. And you can get the same thing happens at this fire here as well. So you can get Fia here, you can get priests here, you can get cooks here. Pretty much all the entire set of the Lemurians can spawn at these. So if you're looking for Fia, you wanna check all of these different locations, but you'll probably have a better chance of getting her where it just spawns armors. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't kill her at that spot, then come here and kill each of these, and then just kind of make your rotation. And you can see here, right here she is, and here is the armors that she makes. Okay, these next couple are here at the set city of Sepamaru that I've already discussed with you. So you know where it's at, you know the locations. I showed you the locations. I'll show you one more time here on the map. So here we are. And then right here. And then right over here. Okay, so both, all the ones that I'm about to show you spawn at both of those locations on this side and on that side. The Relic Hunter, if you want it, once again, all of these will make the Relic Hunter. The next one on the list is the Shemite, and that is old uh, Arson here, the Broken Fingers, you can see makes the Shemite, also makes the Relic Hunter. Now, I had a heck of a time getting him to spawn. He took for freaking ever. I got multiples of all of these here, and it took forever. Now, there are some that spawn here that don't make anything. Um, like, is it her? Nope, she does. Hold on, we'll get to him here in a second. Here we go. Diana Steel Shaper. She doesn't, she just makes the base, base but they all make these, so she's useless. Uh, Mr. Hammer Blow here, once again, just completely useless, because, I mean, if you want a tier four armor so you can make these, then, you know, by all means, he's not useless, but they can all make this stuff. He makes nothing special. So then we have the uh, Stygian set, and that is Zora of the Marshes. As you can see here, she makes the Stygian Raider set, and she makes the Stygian Soldier set. So she was relatively easy to get. I got her to spawn a couple times in both of the locations. Then we have, oh, Gam the Warren. Gam makes the Zamorian set. So if you're looking for the Thief set, you need old Gam. And once again, once again, he will spawn here and he will spawn over here as well. All right, last but not least, we're covering the veneer stuff. So if you take a look at where I am on the map here, I'm right here in old new Asgarth, and uh, I'm right here at this spot. So if you come right in the front door, this spot's really easy to find. I know this place can be slightly disorienting, but just come right in the front door, hang a right, follow right around, right here. now. This is where he should spawn, but he doesn't. And I can confirm he doesn't because I killed this spot for at least an hour like this. Watch this. You see this? You just kill over and over and over again. And I don't know why the name tags are being are being janky, but yeah, like it just instant and you can test this for yourself. I'll show you how. So all you have to do is um, hit your tilde key. It's the key right beside the one and that will bring up the dev menu here. You see that little bar down there at the bottom? You can also hit your insert key. That will also bring it up. And then you're gonna type in this command here. See that command? Uh, set server, and if you just type in set server, it will start it for you. So set server, and then you just hit up like that, then you can hit tab. So that'll that'll fill the, the setting in for you, but you need to type the rest of it uh, yourself. So then you want MPC respawn multiplier, and then you just put 0 0.0001. That will get you instant respawn. Now, if you go into your single player settings at all, so like if I hit escape and was to go into the settings and then back out, it resets that. So you have to redo that every time. Also, it's not instant. You have to kill one, wait for the respawn, Spawn to kick in once it respawns the first time then after that it'll be instant then you can just hit shit or hold down shift and hit delete and then just kill over it'll just delete them for you 
and you can just go through them that way. I've actually created a hot key so I don't have to do, hit hold shift and delete. I can just hit the a single key. It makes it a lot faster. But as you can see, they're just dropping over dead like crazy. But uh, and I did this like this for, like I said, at least an hour, if not more. I just kind of didn't just, you know, I just zoned out trying to get this guy to spawn and uh, he doesn't spawn here. So my advice would be go to the Funcom forms and, and flood the forms. I mean, not flood it yourself, but everybody go and leave a, you know, make a post and individually and just one post about how it needs to be fixed and then they'll make, they'll fix it. Don't make a hundred posts by yourself. You don't need to do that. Just put one post and be like, hey, Funcom, old uh, Injorn Battleborn is broken can you please fix it and maybe maybe in the next patch or the next hot fix they'll actually fix it because it's not like it's any serious thing it should be a super easy fix for them and also just be respectful about it don't go over there and be a dick all right and that's it for this one when old uh sessie black tongue gets a uh, spawn point and gets added to the game i will do a video just for her to show you if any of these change and i find out about it i will do an update video on that as well okay that's going to wrap it up for this episode if you like what you saw consider hitting that sub button i want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible you all are absolutely amazing people if you'd like to join my elite crew of patreon supporters please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.